Hey, folks, welcome back to the Mike Lopez Show with your host, AC Mike. Listen, very special guest. You know you hear me say that all the time, but this here is a very, very special guest uh, to Atlantic City, to Atlantic County, to New Jersey, and to the world of basketball. Uh, as many of you know, we are a rich tradition of basketball here in uh, not only New Jersey, but South Jersey and Atlantic City. Those Vikings and the other teams, uh, Holy Spirit and whatnot, are, are uh, high schools are very rich, and they send these players out to all over the country to play D1, D2, and Division Three. So right now, we got professional basketball back in Atlantic City. I couldn't be more excited. Got to meet this young man, uh, leader, not a boss, a leader, Darren Akers, a.k.a. Slim. Welcome to the uh, Mike Lopez Show, sir. Thank you for having me, sir. Appreciate it's, you. Yeah, it's uh, we're, we're happy to have you. We've been going back and forth. I know this has been a crazy time for you. Uh, as far as putting team together and and uh, finding the talent and your staff and whatnot. But Darren, what we want to do here is uh, introduce uh, our viewers to uh, Darren Akers and uh, what you're doing and your love for basketball. Oh, man. I, I, I've been, uh, the past couple of years, I've been just going state to state, uh, watching, you know, upcoming youth and uh, players from around the world. And, and that just helped me with my attraction to the game. Um, so uh, I basically just been building teams. Uh, I went from Camden, New Jersey. Uh, we built a great franchise there. And from there, uh, we started a franchise in Yaden, Pennsylvania. That didn't really work out too well for me. So uh, I decided to uh, come to Atlanta, the great city of Atlantic City and, and, and build this beautiful franchise that we have now. And um, it's just rolling. We're, we're, we're super excited. Season approaching. And uh, listen, uh, folks, uh, we're talking with the, the owner of the Atlantic City Seagulls, uh, Darren Akers, uh, again, a.k.a. Slim. Uh, so the, the team was in Yaden. Uh, you know, it didn't work out the way you liked and way you wanted, but you always had Atlantic City somewhere in, in the backdrop being uh, working in Candom and being a Philly guy. Uh, I'm sure you had that. And then I want to say sometime in July, you had a uh, meeting with a, a former uh, listen, folks, the, uh, the Atlantic City Seagulls were a United States Basketball Association, I believe, that league for and a couple, uh, two or three championships. Marty Small Sr., the mayor of Atlantic City, was a player and also My a Stock University alum. So, so take, take us there, Darren. July 6th, I want to say, what that was like and, and yeah. where were you at that time as far as moving or not moving? So the 6th or the 7th, uh, I want to say around that time, uh, we were, I actually connected with a gentleman from Atlantic City by the name of Lenny Cook, who's like a basketball icon um, when it comes to street ball and, and, you know, just guys coming out of college early. Uh, he came up with LeBron around that time. So uh, Lenny played for me in Camden and uh, he and I had a conversation on that evening and uh, one evening and, and it basically developed into the Atlantic City Seagulls. Um, and once that happened, we we ran right to Marty, uh, Mayor Small, and he, he uh, welcomed us with open arms. He's been a huge step, a huge help every step of the way. Um, and, and he's, you know, just been really supporting us. We're actually going to retire his jersey, uh, that number 30, at our first home game on uh, November 13th. Outstanding. That's uh, 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 Mayor Small is a guy who gets it uh, with a marketing and promotions background besides being uh, serving on council. So I'm since I believe the uh, the age of 29 is one of the youngest, if not the youngest uh, in the state of New Jersey, but definitely sure. in Atlantic City. And, and yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we've had the Seagulls here. We had the uh, Atlantic City Blackjacks. Unfortunately, the, the league folded. It wasn't so much the team. But, you know, I see you out in the community. So we got the Seagulls coming to AC. They're going to play, uh, I, I believe, a 20-game schedule or so. Uh, sometime in November you kick off. But what is uh, Darren Akers and that team? I see you put assembled a great, uh, from the cheerleading uh, coach to players to uh, uh, hype men. And, and hopefully uh, AC Michael having you, you've already offered me a couple things, and we're going to talk more about that down the road. But you put a great team together. And where does that all lay in the sense of community and how you're going to get people to come to these games. Cause we talked about it a little bit, we got to go out and grab some of them and, and bring them by the hand. Absolutely. So, so uh, my, my main thing is because I'm not from Atlantic city is I want to associate myself and surround myself with powerful Atlantic city people 
um, who actually get it, who understand like if this isn't just about basketball, right. this is about reaching the community and showing the kids that there's that you don't have to be LeBron James to you know be an impact in your community or to be a role model. Um, you know, there's a million ways or uh, jobs in the sports industry that uh, they could learn, and we're here to teach them. Um, you know, not just basketball, but the business of basketball. Um, I'm 37 years old, and I'm an owner of a professional franchise. So uh, you don't have to be, you know, uh, Mark Cuban or a trillionaire. You know, just a lot, a lot of hard work and, right. and some determination, and anything is possible. So we're, we're we're using that message, and we're trying to push the youth with that. Uh, all our players have to do at least uh, three hours of community service a week. Mm. Um, so we're, we're actually, we're trying to be as involved in the community as possible. That's a big part of what we are and what we're trying to do. I'm sorry, this flies drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. Listen, that's the beauty of TV and what we're doing. So, and, and what, what we talked about, and when we started talking a few months back, uh, Darren, uh, you, one of the first things you said here, and I wrote it in my notes is community. You spoke it right in my living room. You talked about it. And that's near and dear to my heart. I mean, we all get busy with our professions, right. Or whatever it is that we're doing, but when it comes to it, you know, everybody always expects uh, uh, the city or the town or wherever. It's not just nice to embrace us, whatever you did the opposite. You started talking about it and showing it. And as we grow, I'm sure it'll be more so. So, I mean, where did that come from? Was it, was it in Yaden also or Candom or you just figured, you know, let's, let's roll with this and get the people involved. No, absolutely. So Camden, Yaden, we, we've always been for, for the community. That's, that's, that's what we build our franchises on. Um, that's what the ABA is all about. Um, so they, I, one of the main things is is to make sure you support the community because without the community, we don't have a team, we don't have fans. So, uh, you know, we, we, we need their support and we need them to know that we're not just a basketball team. We're here to affect the community and show people that uh, basketball can be a way uh, to do something different, to change your life. That's awesome. So listen, we got about a minute left. I want you to tell us, one, where we can find you. We're also going to put this up on this interview, but where we can find you as far as the season, when it's going to run from to, and also uh, if there's any way people could get involved or, or where to find tickets and whatnot, uh, uh, Darren. We are on the website, uh, www.accseagulls.com. Uh, we are AC Seagulls on all social media. Um, uh, you can watch the games live on our website what? at AC Seagulls. Eagles TV, completely free. We also have partnerships with a few TV channels and podcasting uh, stations. So we'll be listing those as well on the website. Um, so stay up to date on the website, www.accseagulls.com. Uh, any other information can be found on our website at accseagulls.com. So, so there you go, folks. Darren, thank you. Darren, I couldn't thank you more. Again, I look forward to having you back on the Stockton University Mike Lopez show, but also WOND. We're going to have you out there because we all work together and it's going to be a great season. And thank you. We want to thank you again for bringing basketball back, professional basketball back to Atlantic City. Last word to you, my man. Thank you for having me. And please, everyone, Seagulls, we're back. www.seagulls.com. There you go, man. You heard it. Live, work, play, AC. And part of that play, work, and living is the Atlantic City Seagulls doing it right here. Folks, stay right where you're at. We'll be right back with our next guest.